Biomutant was a long time coming. The first footage of this game grabbed my attention all the way back in 2017 and since then I've been looking forward to jumping into the shoes of a little furry creature and exploring this beautiful looking open world. Biomutant was developed by a small independent studio named Experiment 101 with a team of only 20 people and even though this game has been in development for years what this small team was able to do is pretty amazing. I had loads of fun with Biomutant but I think the biggest thing that shocked me is the range of review scores that it received on release. Sure, it has a few issues, but most of this is easily forgiven considering how much fun it is. So my advice is, don't be a sheep and buy into everything that you read. Buying Mutant does a lot right and you should just make up your own mind whether you want to give this a shot or not. Before we begin, if you liked this review, it would help me out a lot if you hit like and subbed for loads more RPG related videos. I'd also like to thank the PR for providing me with a review code for this game. Additionally, I played the first release version of Biomutant on the PS5 prior to any patches. Alright, let's get into it. Biomutant is set in a post-apocalyptic wasteland. You know, those selfish human bastards decided to kill the planet for their own selfish reasons. This was just too much for the humans and they then decided to leave Earth and find some other planet to inhabit. However, all was not lost for Earth, for the Tree of Life emerged which gave life to the new world. I know what you're thinking, what about the animals? Yeah, it's always about the animals. Well, they mutated, developed intelligence and formed different tribes with different ideologies. The problem in the game is that this tree of life is under threat from a bunch of creatures known as world eaters. It is your job as a cute little furry guy to travel the world defeating these world eaters and uniting or eliminating the tribes. Let's start with the first step. The character creation system was quite a bit of fun and there's just something about creating an adorable little mutant that's so much more enjoyable than making another human character. While the main purpose of the game is to save the tree of life, your mutant also has some personal issues to work through. On several occasions you'll play through an an interactive flashback which helps build some backstory and establishes his motives. All in all, the story is decent enough. It certainly isn't the reason you'll be playing Biomutant, but it does more than enough to provide a reason to go from A to B. For me, going from A to B was the best part of the game. The large expansive world looks beautiful and it was a joy to explore the many different biomes ranging from lush green fields to toxic landscapes. Some of these toxic areas can't be explored until you found certain resistance suits or buff certain stats enough to survive. This area for instance killed me because I was lacking a certain type of resistance. In this area however, I was able to work through it without any issues because of the biohazard suit I had previously obtained. Something else I really enjoyed was the mounts that you can find throughout the game. There are loads of weird and wacky looking creatures that can be caught and all of these make travelling a lot faster. There are also a few machines that can be unlocked which are required to traverse certain biomes such as this boat. Honestly, this is one of the best, most enjoyable open worlds that I've explored for quite a while. One of the reasons for this is that there's just so much to discover, a lot of which is completely unique such as important NPC quest lines or one of a kind shops with unique items. I usually I usually get burnt out pretty quickly with open worlds, but I felt that Biomutant's variety in its biomes and unique discoveries made it very difficult to put down. The world still has room for improvement however, and this is with the town and the tribe HQ designs. These all use the same assets and feel identical to one another. Every single village looks the same as the last with no distinguishing features whatsoever. This is even more disappointing with each tribe whose location really should have had unique design elements that reflect the tribe's style. Missed opportunity in my opinion. Let's talk about the tribes. Throughout this expansive world is several opposing tribes that all have the different views of the world and who fight for different things. Early in the game, you'll get to align yourself with a tribe and then set out on a quest to conquer the other tribes by taking over outposts and eventually their main HQs. I had a great time trying to unite these tribes or taking down those who opposed me. Now, you do get a choice in which tribe to align with, but let's be real, my guess is that 99% of players will only align with either the Myriad or Jagni tribes. The reason for this is that these two tribes are closest to the starting point of the game whereas the other four are much further out. You can change tribes midway through the game, but I saw no incentive to do this. Plus, the process for this is pretty convoluted. I'll also make a quick mention to my experience with game crashes. Some reviewers have been hammering this game for countless crashes, bugs and glitches, but my experience playing on the PS5 was pretty positive. I completed the game in about 30 hours and the game only crashed for me twice. In terms of glitches, there was one instance with some floating guns, but that's the extent of it. For me, it was a much smoother experience than most open world games, especially considering I've played the game prior to any patches. 
Something quite unique to Biomutant is the use of a narrator. Basically, you'll be followed around by a tiny robot who will provide narration throughout your journey. Now, the narrator is very well voiced and it provides some quirky, entertaining commentary which I particularly enjoyed listening to while traveling through new areas. It's Bionucleus 6D. Hopefully there's nothing active inside. However, at other times, it's honestly more of a nuisance. You see, for some strange reason, the narrator is required to translate what the other characters are saying. When interacting with NPCs, you actually hear them speak gibberish, followed by the narrator's translation. She wonders if you remember her. She's Noko. Pressing a button to skip through the gibberish also caused me to skip over the narration, which was really annoying. There is also no logical reason for your character to not understand what everyone else is saying. I mean, all of the other mutants seem to communicate just fine. It just makes no sense that your character needs a translator. On top of this, the narration makes it really difficult to get invested with the other characters as a lot of their quirks are lost in translation. Literally. I understand that the narrator was probably used to save a load of cash on different voice actors, but I would have much preferred each character to have their own voices. Most open world RPGs these days seem to have morality systems and these can be done very well or not so well. Unfortunately, I felt that Biomutant just seemed to throw its morality system in there because all the cool kids were doing it. I did not see the point of this mechanic as it in no way affects the ending which you'll receive at the end of the game. The only thing that it really influences is the unlocking of light or dark magic spells. Your morality will be adjusted based on your decisions in the game where you'll gain either light or dark points. I'm not talking about major decisions either because there aren't any of those. Usually it's just simple dialogue choices with NPCs and most of the time I didn't even know I was making a dark or light choice. This morality is also represented by a couple of creatures that pop up from time to time. These little devil and angel creatures also happen to be the only other two voice acted characters in the game. They all banter with each other and comment on what you've chosen, but I personally found them more of a nuisance than anything. To put it simply, Biomutant would have actually benefited from no morality system at all. Even if I'm bad company, I complete you. Hmm. I think we can finally agree on something. It is better to be alone than in bad company. Now, let's get into the combat. This action-focused gameplay allows you to attack with both your melee weapon and your gun. You'll be jumping, dodging, and running all over the place using a combination of magic and physical attacks, and this is a lot of fun. The unique feature here is the addition of Wan Fu. After performing three abilities, you'll activate Wan Fu mode, which allows you to unleash super powerful attacks for a short time, such as slow motion bullet time. Working your way up to Wan Fu mode through successfully using abilities and unleashing these powerful attacks was essentially the strategy for most battles. With loads of magic spells thrown in and different gun and weapon types, there are quite a lot of options in battle and different ways to build your character. I really enjoyed this system, even if it did take quite a few hours to get used to, which was mainly because there was no lock-on feature at all. Another criticism here is the poor balancing of some of the equipment. I crafted an amazing gun midway through the game, and after that point, I could steamroll just about everything by spamming the fire button at range without even being hit. There has already been a patch to balance the gameplay, so I'm hoping for more of this in the future. I also need to make a mention to the battles against the four world eaters. These were the most memorable fights as they took this combat to a whole new level. With these, you would no longer be able to rely on your regular combat skills. Instead, you'll be fighting on a range of different machines and will need to identify each enemy's specific weak point. These battles were unique, felt epic and were one of the highlights of the combat system for me. The RPG mechanics come into play by spending three different types of points to mutate your character. Psi points are gained through making certain dialogue choices and through finding shrines around the world. These can be spent on magical powers for either light or dark elements. Bio points grant resistances and special abilities and can be found in hidden containers or by defeating bio creeps. Finally, there's upgrade points. These are gained from leveling up and can be spent to either unlock perks or special abilities which are needed to unleash Wan Fu mode in battle. Biomutant offers quite a bit to think about when developing your mutant and these many options complement the combat nicely. 
During your journey through the lands, you'll pick up loads of items either through quests or just hidden around the place. There is incentive to explore everywhere and also to complete as many mini puzzles as you can in hope of finding some rare items. These puzzles were a good idea but they were way too easy. I'm talking at a daycare level. I really would have liked to see some super difficult puzzles that block access to some of the rarest items. Most of the items that you'll pick up can be used to craft equipment and this system was great. With your weapons for example, you can combine Find various different types of parts to create some absolutely awesome looking guns and swords. I spent quite a bit of time chopping and changing my gear, constantly jumping back into the crafting screen whenever I found a new rare item. Biomutant did a great job in this area, and while the menus and item management does its job, there were still quite a few quality of life additions that would have saved me a lot of time, such as being able to dismantle unwanted items as soon as I picked them up. Being able to lock your favourite items would also be a great feature to prevent stupid me from dismantling dismantling the wrong items. If I could give you one word of advice, it would be to make your own mind up about Biomutant. I was very surprised to see such a mixed range of reviews out there and all I can say is that if anything here interests you then you should definitely give Biomutant a shot. It looks beautiful and exploring the diverse range of biomes, discovering something new at every turn was the best part of the game for me. The crafting system also deserves a thumbs up and provides loads of different options when building your gear. However, I'm in two minds about the combat. At its core, it's a lot of fun but it's just held back by some balancing issues. For me, this was being able to kill anything from range with my overpowered gun. The narration and morality systems also need some tweaking as a lot of the time it would have been better without them. Even with these issues, after all these years of waiting, I am very happy with how Biomutant turned out. Have you had a chance to play this yet? What did you think? Let me know in the comments. This was Hellfire RPGs, thanks for watching. If you like this, hit like and sub for more RPG content. Also come say hi on the socials. See you next time.